Emotions still running high tonight in the Commonwealth and across the country after a violent and deadly clash of protesters in Charlottesville. The chaos all started a few days ago and ended with three people killed. Those victims are two state troopers and a counter protester who was hit by a car. There's a growing memorial for that woman, Heather Heyer, where she was hit in Charlottesville. Reporter Chinu Her is live there now and Chinu, the local community is trying to spread a message of hope. Well, absolutely, Regina. Lots of people are here, like David had mentioned, are still running high in emotion, and people are coming out here to support Heather Heyer, but they're also out here to just voice their opinions about what happened this weekend and voice their feelings. Some a little bit more vocal than others, but those who are choosing to be a little bit more quiet about how they're feeling are finding a unique way to do that. Sometimes silence, and this is an invasion, can ring so loud. The free speech is very well respected. In the wake of tragedy, people in Charlottesville, unbelievable, just unbelievable, can't be quiet. It was just not a happy time. It's just a poem about um, inner strength. We call it the Freedom Wall, where everybody is. Um, free to come and express oneself and write whatever they want. The Freedom Wall Bashir Khalifa sees every day has taken a whole new meaning. Words scrawled on there to lift each other up following a deadly weekend in Charlottesville. Violence, he hopes, can be erased. And I grew up in Algiers uh, during the French Revolution, so um, I'm used to violence. And this reminds me of those ugly days. Derek Wong hopes the words people leave can be a start. I feel like it's just an important thing that people are able to uh, come together as a community. Words that will continue to be put into action to honor those who fought for equality and ring loud that Charlottesville writes a different story moving forward. This is a place of intelligent, tolerant, incredible people. I love this community. Now that memorial to honor Heather Heyer is just a few blocks away here in downtown Charlottesville. But right behind me, I want to show you this. This is the Robert E. Lee statue and someone put up a sign there that says Heyer Memorial Park and lots of people have been coming out here to look at that and to take pictures. Again, this is just a few blocks away from where Heather Heyer was hit by a car on Saturday, which ultimately killed her. Again, this is just a very bold statement here in downtown Charlottesville to honor her death. Live in Charlottesville, Chinooher, 13 News Now.